what are some of the qualifications that make a business owner a really good, like a great fit to work with your team? Like where, where would they be? Where they usually are, unfortunately, Ken, but it's just the reality of the situation is where they have more growth than they can handle. Yeah, the demand is here, but the supply is here. The supply is much lower. So that's when they realize, oh, crap, we've invested so much money on the sales and marketing side of the business that we've completely lost sight of what's going on operationally. Right. So I, I had a, a client years ago, and I, I laugh every time I think about this, but it's, it's so, it, it sums this up so well. She said, you know, sales is out there selling the dream while us folks here in operations deal with the nightmare. In other words, <laughs> the sales and marketing folks are out there making the promise, but operations has to make sure that you can actually deliver, that you deliver on that promise. Because if you don't, then you have angry customers. And angry customers are not quiet. They will go on social media. They will, <laughs> they will give you bad reviews on Yelp. So, so that's why I say, unfortunately, that's, when, that's what it takes usually when most smaller business owners realize like, oh my goodness, we have to do something. But here's the other part to the challenge, Ken, is that you, you're feeling the pain. You're feeling the chaos of that fast, unmanageable growth, well, where on earth do you go to find help? Where do you go for assistance? And that's why I'm on a mission to make this information accessible. That's why I love when you said making enterprise solutions easily accessible and available to smaller businesses because what happens usually if the business owner has enough foresight to actually know how to search for this type of solution online, for example, Right. They usually run into one of two issues. One, they find that a great majority of the information is reserved for manufacturing companies, or two, that it's reserved for the big guys, you know, the Coca Colas and the Facebooks of the world. How can they relate? How can they find someone that can actually give information that's tailored specifically to those smaller companies? 